morning, and this gentleman would go and buy anything from 7 Eleven that it's looked like pizza. Though. I'm meeting my friend Coco Rocha. We are at the Standard Hotel and we're gonna have some pizza for breakfast. I haven't seen you in a while. Probably since the Met Gala, yeah. actually. We were both quite done up. You had more makeup than I no, had. No, I did not. Yes. Such lies. I remember when I saw you, I was like, wow! You I brought you a box. I curate a box with the okay. fancy. Tell me what's in it. Floral glasses, which in fact, sure. it actually goes well with this. I usually go for a little moodier floral than this. Moody Sad. floral? Yeah. You never know what's in the box till you get it. We're having pizza for breakfast. Because I've had because pizza with you in the morning. In the middle of the night. We also dance the, the night, night away. away. <laughs> and then all now of a sudden, like, like all of a sudden like... it was like seven in the afternoon and you're still watching Hoarders Buried Alive at my house. It was actually one of the best were, days ever. You turned me on to Full Throttle Saloon, Border Patrol. Bad Tattoos, oh. some Teen Mom, 16 Pregnant. Now there's this new show called I'm Pregnant and So Is My Daughter. Both pregnant at the same time. We gotta watch it. It's a buddy comedy. I was called Coco at the age of four. What did your mom call you? We're, I'm not Canadian, so we didn't you. speak. Did your mom first. not give you a nickname? Well, I don't wanna say it. Say okay. it. I, for some reason, was called Bub or Bubba, and I hated it so much. I wish you were called Bubba, because this would be better. Breakfast My with Bubba. Like you told Carolina Kokova you couldn't speak to her because you were Team Coco. Yes. She thought it was kind of like a serious thing, and then, and because I was being super dry about it. I really don't feel like we're in a competition. For girls doing really well of my sort of era. <laughs> you get the job, high five for you, because I'll get the next job. But yeah, you sometimes look and think like, am I still relevant? Am Can I too I old for Team Vogue cover? Am I too cover? old for Team Vogue cover? <laughs> <laughs> high five to you, though, for, <laughs> for everything. Thanks, and to you. <laughs> We had a shoot together. We did have a shoot together. The talent you have of balancing. You're like, look what I can do, look what I can do. He puts a glass on his head. One second it stays and look what I can do. Smashes to the ground, everywhere. I'm bleeding, still have a mark. It has cost me jobs. Yeah, but we can talk about the fact that when you moved into your house, I came to see your house for the first time. Tell the whole story. I got Tell a nail pretending from to be your like. freaking no, no, no. dining room. Oh, no. oh, the whole story about how. Okay, I was making fun of a certain model. model. Oh yeah, he didn't know who she was. <laughs> she drags one of her legs in like a very sort of like I'm hipster. I can barely. She's a hipster. I don't really care. I'm like she clomps down the runway. Coco was like, I don't know who this model is. I want to see how she walks. So I decided to demonstrate. Yes. The walk. Would you like to demonstrate now? She just sort of is like. It's sort of like a little Frankenstein. I went to go look at my foot, and there was a nail <laughs> in my frickin' toe. But you didn't explain to anyone what was in your foot. You were just like, go, leave me. And I'm like, where am I going? It's my house. And you couldn't, wouldn't stop laughing. James, your husband, had to pull the nail out of my toe. So in return, but you like destroyed my foot and my career? Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> No, I think the moral of the story is do not make fun of other models like Walt. In my house. Thanks for tuning in to Breakfast with Bevan. Make sure to subscribe to the Teen Vogue channel for more episodes. And subscribe to my fancy box. You can sing. I can sing. Sing I didn't me sing a song. Back to, no, I'm not singing to you right now. No, really, you sing good. A one, a two. You are like one, Shakira. One, two, three, go. If you really want to hear me sing the ABCs and Coco Rocha lip-syncing along, check out the playlist.